Okay, so starting off the tier list, I've already got it into games in which I've never played. Um, just so you know that I don't have an opinion on these games. But the ones I will be ranking are Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 7, Wii DS Double Dash 64, and obviously the original Super Mario Kart. So I think I'm going to go from when they released to here and just kind of see when I would rank them. The first one we're going to rank is obviously Super Mario Kart, and I think I'm going to put it at the original game. You have to have at least some respect for it, but I didn't play it all that much. Um, but as it is the original game that kind of started it all, we have to put it at B, just for the sake of the sake. Anyway, next is Mario Kart 64. Now this one, I've played a little bit. I think I'm also going to put it at B, but just not as just like behind Super Mario Kart just a little bit, only because the controls are not that great. It's kind of hard, but it is kind of cool to see how they made a 3D Mario Kart game and how good of a racing game it actually was at the time. Next one we're actually going to do is Mario Kart Double Dash, and I think I'm going to put this one at S tier just because the controls are amazing, the maps are good, and just being able to be two players at once actually kind of brought like some fun and intriguing stuff into the genre. I thought that was really cool. Then we have Mario Kart DS. As a handheld game, it didn't do that much for me. Um, it was fun though, I will say it was fun. We're, all, we're gonna put it at B behind Mario Kart 64. Actually, we're gonna put it at C just because it's not the worst Mario Kart game in the franchise, but it's definitely not, it's not great. I mean, it, it is fun to play, but as a Mario Kart game, it just doesn't do it, you know? And then we have Mario Kart Wii. I'm gonna put this one at C just because for me personally, I don't really like the motion controls in the game. They're a little bit too bad. Like when you turn the Wiimote this way and it actually, your character would actually go off the cliff and it just, just wasn't that great. Um, but that's pretty much my only reasoning. And then Mario Kart 7, uh, this one could be played on the DS, I think as well. I'm going to put at A just because of the, all the new stuff it added as long as, as well as the controls were really, really good. And I think that was the first Mario Kart that had the gliders as well. And that was really, really neat. Mario Kart 8, I'm going to put at B, just because it was released on the Wii U, and I feel like we kind of have to put it at B. Um, but there was anti-gravity in the game, it was really cool. And finally, the last Mario Kart game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which I think I'm going to put at S tier, just because I think it's it's the first game on the, the first Mario Kart game on the Switch, and the controls are really, really good, especially with the Joy-Con. And I think this is the first marker game where you could either decide to do motion control or not do motion control, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list, and I'll see you in the next video.